Yeah, I mean, this dungeon is larger than, uh, her, uh, base house. Like, that's some, that's some amazing extra square footage. Alright, before we go to the boss, we have to explore every... Ah. Let's see. Not much of an exploration, though. Noted. Well, we've got two keys. What now? Oh, I guess it's open now. Okay, this is it, you two. The final battle. What's in there will put your skills to the test more than anything we've faced so far. Oh dear. I hope you two are ready for a tussle. A tussle? Really? What? What's wrong with calling it a tussle? Well, the way you hype this up, it sounds like a little more than a tussle. Maybe a brawl? What about a fracas? Can we just get this over with? Those monsters are itching for a tussle. Okay, now you're just being difficult. I'm always being difficult. Hi, right, welcome on by, Aurora. Okay, here we go. My first real chance to show you two what I've got. Don't blink, you guys. Big Dust Bunny! Alright, let's, uh... I feel like if I tried to set it on fire, uh... It accidentally turned the boss into an ultimate form. Ooh. Um, let me give it another whack. Let's go for a high kick. This is a big bunny. Oh shit! This bunny is ripped! Flex it on us. Skip leg day though, so it's very slow. Um, let's refresh Claire's star power. Let's do another high kick. Actually, I feel like its legs are going to be its weakness. Maybe we could topple it over with a low kick. And let's burn it. Aha! It is its weakness! Burn, bunny, burn! Hell yeah! Alright, so we're gonna heal ourselves. Allison, don't have anything for another low kick. But we can do another Scorch. Uh-oh. Charging up. Alright, everyone. Hunker down! You can't stop us! Alright, we need to refresh Allison's buff. Uh, we'll go for another low kick, and we'll Scorch again. And... I don't think we're dropping it this round. I think it's gonna take another couple rounds. Ooh. We need to heal Claire. Alright, alright, alright. We got this in the bag. Nice little easy first boss. Kick him while he's low. Big Dust Bunny has been defeated. Learn skills. Yoink. Blink. Oh, interesting. Oh, we got a cardboard box. Found the Zircon Saber. Ooh, a sword. Ooh! This thing looks sick! Go ahead and take it, Allison. Did you just leave this here just for me? That's actually really nice of you. Yeah, that's a very thoughtful gift, Claire. I pulled some strings to get some nice treasure for the dungeon. I mean, I could have kept it for myself, but fighting with swords is so uncouth compared to pyrokinesis. I'm so happy that I'm not even going to complain about how stupid that comment was. Actually, this sword was supposed to be enchanted, but it looks like the little gem in the hilt isn't the original. So right now it's just a normal sword, which is probably why I got it for so cheap. But hey, maybe we'll find a replacement gem when we go on some real adventures. Now we're talking. Do you really think we're ready for that? Sure. 
You two got through my dungeon just fine. A real one would only be marginally more life-threatening. Marginally? Hey, don't worry, Mel. No clown's gonna hurt my girlfriend on my watch. Promise. They usually aren't clowns. We should probably head outside ASAP, though. I'm not entirely sure how structurally sound this dungeon is. You're only warning us about that now? This place is made of cardboard. I don't know what you expected. Whatever. Let's get out of here, Mel. Oh no, the dungeon's collapsing! Okay, I didn't put a wall here. Well, it's kind of in the way. We'll just have to find another way out, I guess. Oh, I get it. This is another test for us, isn't it? Very clever, Claire. No, it's not. Malo freaked out, honestly. I have no idea where that wall came from. You've got a lot of tricks up your sleeve. Can't you burn this wall down with a fire spell or something? Nope. I fireproofed this dungeon pretty thoroughly, so I could cast Scorch without burning the place down. Let's just try to find another exit, like Claire said. It's gotta be a crack in the wall or something. Okay, Mel? I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. That doesn't look suspicious at all. Into the void! That was several minutes ago. And I'm bored. Girls have been down in Allison's basement an awfully long time. I wonder what they're up to. Probably nothing, right? They would have invited me if they had plans. Maybe I should go check on... Oh, a text from Faith. Grab your armor and meet me in the tower ASAP. It's urgent. Don't tell anyone. Okay. We got some text messages. The plot thickens. Ooh, that's got some spooky. Oh, it's the Dan. It's the Dander. This doesn't exactly look like a way out. How did we even end up in this cave? I mean, there are a lot of caves under Green Ridge, right? Yeah, but we went what east and south. We shouldn't be back in the east of the dungeon. Claire, shouldn't you know where we are? I never found this cave when building the dungeon, so no. Not quite sure where we are. Maybe we should turn around before we get lost in the cave. I didn't exactly see any other holes in the wall up there. It's kind of our only option. Besides, you two were looking for an adventure, right? Let's look on the bright side. What's more adventurous than getting lost in a mysterious cave? N not getting lost? Okay, actually, I know where we are. Let's turn back. Why? What is it? Come on, there's a chest right up ahead. We're obligated to open that as adventurers. It's... uh... It's a curse. Yeah. An old Galetta family heirloom that's extremely cursed. Mom sealed it away in that treasure chest. You realize it just makes me want to open the chest even more now, right? The chest is also booby-trapped. I hope you realize I'm not buying a single word of this. Do I have to open the chest? Can I just listen to Allison and not open the chest? Oh, whoops. I must have spaced out. I was supposed to open the chest first. Let's head back and get that. Let's not, actually. She. Them kids messing with powers far beyond their animal comprehension. Oh shit. Her photo album. Yep, that's some that's some cursed heirloom, alright. Yeah, it's yeah. Hey, this is your mom's photo album. What's this doing here? It's well Okay, so when I was 18, I was trying to start fresh. I wanted to shake off some of that middle and high school dweebiness, you know? Kind of like remaking on social media. So after my mom left, I kind of hid this photo album of hers filled with embarrassing photos of me in a cave, so no one would ever see it. Wow. And I thought I was melodramatic. Yeah, I guess it might have been a bit much. You know what this means though, right? I've got to see what's in this photo album. 
What? No way! Oh, come on. How bad could it be? Melody, back me up here. Aren't you curious, too? I mean, I've probably seen most of them before. If we dug enough, we'd probably even find some photos of me. You know what? Fine. It's probably nothing that embarrassing. Just a quick peek, though, okay? Aww. It's a bunny, and now she's got bunny ears. Bunny squared. Oh my god. Is that your mom? Choose your next words carefully, Claire. Oh, I was just going to say, she looks like a total badass. Definitely buy all those stories you told me about her now. What, you didn't believe them before? How old is this one? You look really young there. Here. Yeah, her, her mom's really got that anime hair going on. That's, a uh, it's like down to her... It's like all the way down to her butt and then floofing out. I think this is just before we moved here, so maybe four or five? Which explains why my hair is a total mess. It's hard to remember a time when you didn't spend an hour a day on your hair. What's next? Oh hell yeah, edgy, edgy high schooler time. Gotta get that, gotta get that hot topic. Who is this? Do you have a sibling I don't know about? That's... me. Oh my god? Yeah, I had a scene phase for a brief period in high school. I know, it's stupid. No way, it's cool. You're just expressing yourself. My parents would have killed me if I tried something that extreme. Anyway, next. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't zoom in any further. I don't have any more pre-made zooms. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's just... That's amazing. I love that. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Your mom dressed you up as a carrot? I was one year old. What the hell was I supposed to do? Oh man, that's just great. The humble origins of the legendary hero, Alison Goletta. Yeah, I definitely remember why I hid this thing. Oh, relax, I'm only teasing. This is all adorable. You should be thankful your mom preserved all these happy memories for you. Eh, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, that was fun, but now we're still stuck in a cave. A cave that, if I remember correctly, should be on the other side of town. Something is definitely going on around here. Now we can go through that other thing on my bob and my jig. Whee! Um, Allison, you said you've been in this cave before, right? Has this void always been down here? Yeah, no. Wow, this is incredible. It sort of looks like the fabric of reality is falling apart. No, it just looks like we're back in your dungeon and that weird magic effect you had going on with the floor is leaking out. Or something. Quit trying to freak us out with your bonding through danger shtick. No, really. I mean it. This is not part of the dungeon I designed. Okay, Claire, listen. Is it possible that maybe when summoning the dust bunnies, you got a little more than you bargained for? Not a chance. I was incredibly careful about this. It takes much more energy to summon more powerful creatures. I only used a small amount of mana to summon exactly as many dust bunnies as I needed. No, I think we've stumbled upon something else. Like a couch. A sofa? Well then, looks like a pretty nice one too. Hey, you know, I can really go for a nap. I'm pretty tired from all this dungeon business. I think I'm gonna pop a squat on this couch and pass out for a little bit. Really? Right here. In this part of the dungeon that shouldn't even exist. I'm a sleepy bunny, Claire. I wasn't expecting to go on some wild dungeon adventure of today. I need a sec to recharge. I could probably use a little rest too. Also, there's absolutely no way I'm going on ahead without Allison. Of course. Well, I suppose some rest could do us good. Let's take a power nap. Hell yeah! Naps are amazing!
All right, now which exit of the fabric of reality am I going to go through now? This way? I don't think it's supposed to do that. Hmm. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, I am here for some little glitch hot beat. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to equip that sword, Claire. I forgot to equip that sword that Claire gave to me. I should probably do that in case we run into trouble. Claire gets the cardboard box. Pull barrier controls, insert key. Error. No keys in inventory. Oh, so we had a save point. Alright, so we need some keys. Hmm. Looks like we can push this block on the other side. Ah, Morsel Enemy! More du- Rip in space time. Hold on. Is it a good thing if we destroy rips in space time? Or if we destroy a rip in space time, does that make the situation worse? Hmm. Let's do it. Steal an item or gold from the enemy. Um, let's steal from the rip in space time. <laughs> Yeah, we just took 20 money out of existence. You know, considering a lot of uh, money is made up anyway, I like to think we're basically stealing money straight out of uh, the stock market. I feel like that's fair. Spine store from his pocket dimension. <laughs> That's a good one. Alright. Um Dive Bomb. Burn. Alright, it's not too strong. Alright. Hmm. Wait, that enemy passed through a barrier? Interesting. Ooh. Is this a computer? This thing is downright ancient. It's so old, I don't think it even has a mouse. It just has arrow keys. I wish it had a trackball. That'd be fun. Now listen, were you the type of kid in school who would always steal the trackballs from old mice in the computer lab? How short-sighted do you think I am, Claire? I couldn't have gone and played flash games in the middle of class without a functioning mouse. True. Anyway, Melody, what does it say on the screen? It might be important. It almost looks like an email client. There's a message open on the screen. Things will get interesting down there once the process starts, so you may want to know this spell to clear away a certain type of corruption. V. Oh, there are directions for some kind of healing spell. That might help us get out of here. Ooh. We've learned Purify. Things have most definitely gotten interesting here, so uh, thanks, V? Who heard this message actually before, though? What's this process? And why is there a functioning computer in the middle of, well, wherever we are? I'm personally too concerned with about getting back to the surface to look a gift horse in the mouth here, Claire. Um, isn't the goddess that gave them magic, um, beginning with V, like, Val, Val or something? I wonder if her process of bringing magic into this world, um, oh! Hey, Shiro! Welcome on by! I hope you had a good day playing some Apex. 
we're playing some Slar PG, Super Lesbian Animal RPG. And if you don't know who I am, hello, I am Drekki Warmer, Draconic Serpent, Flightless Dragon, uh, uh, or simply a worm here on the internet playing video games. Venga Boys? Yeah. Eh, it's a Venga Boys bit. It, uh, it, it, it makes me have to, like, mute it because I get copyright struck on YouTube, but I feel like it's a very, uh, very good raid song. <laughs> well, I hope, uh, I hope you had some good, some good rounds, Shiro, and, you know, I don't know how long you were going, but streaming some hard work, so, uh, you should absolutely, uh, well, okay, I'm gonna hydrate. Um, you should also hydrate. Should definitely stand up, do a little bit of stretching. Um, you probably have a bunch of piss. You need to go leave that in the bathroom. Go grab some fresh water. I'll be here. I'll still be here, slurping it up. Barbie, Barbie girl. I would also say is a pretty classic song. Catch up song. I'm not familiar with that one. Your brain is crying. Oh, was it? Was it a was it a complicated game? It's been a minute since I played Apex. Ooh, I love the scrolling textures this game's doing. I really like that shtick. It really seems like they had a lot of fun uh, designing this game. Um, for those of you who rated on in, uh, if you don't know, this is um, Slar PG. It is a beautifully saccharine sapphic game. Uh, perfect comfy vibes for a Monday evening, in my opinion. Because Mondays are Mondays. Most of an egg and dust bunny say- hold on, most of an egg? What the- what? What? Oh, it was- where's the rest of the egg? I- I'm- I am now concerned. Alright, um, let's boost Allison, and let's hit that egg. Let's burn that egg. Will we hard boil it? Oh, it's just one shot. Alright. Oh, the Dust Bunny Sages don't turn into Demon Bunnies. Alright, so I can just burn them all willy-nilly. Noted. Noted. Um, we'll punch it in the left. And let's see if we can set the other bunny on fire for some, uh, chip damage. Yes! We killed the bunny sage. Um, yeah. That's too bad. Easy fight, easy fight. We got this, we got this. Hey! Welcome on by Once Upon a Cats. Yeah, yeah. Slayer, Slayer from G. It's been on my radar, and I've been meaning to, to try it for a while. Less of an egg. <laughs> Interesting. Is it a food item? Not quite as much of an egg as most of an egg. <laughs> uh, hmm. Ooh. Let's cure this. Cure revival. Good stuff, good stuff. Can't go that way, so let's check this door I just opened. <laughs> Rip in space time. Alright. Um who's Allison? And let's try and steal from it again. So I wanna see if we get money or if we can get an item. Alright, we just got another 20 gold. No problem, Miss Nil. Thank you for stopping on by. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week. Uh, punch the rift in space time. Yep, that's probably fine. Racking up those level ups. Ooh, we found a key. One of four, it seems. Hmm. It's a lot of keys. 
Uh, hmm. Man, there's a lot of dangers around here. Oh no, it's a flaming dust bunny. Uh, what if I try and steal from a flaming dust bunny? Hmm. Hey, Echo. Welcome on by. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for making room in the Ziggurat. Hot, oh, corrupted. Oh, no. Actually, I need to heal you more than I need to purify you. Holy shit. These monsters fucking hurt. Additional damage to burned enemies. Alright, so we can deal extra damage to burn. What if I try to freeze the burning bunny? Boom! Oh. Ow. I feel like one of them is getting like two attacks. Wait a minute, is Corrupted like frozen? Because I feel like Allison hasn't been acting. Uh, let's finish off the fire bunny. Ah, Allison was just auto-attacking, basically. Nuded. Alright, let's get this. Another grind core tea. And, oh, hey, I wonder if this is a mimic. I am not sticking my hand in that. <laughs> fair enough, Melody, fair enough. Oh, okay. Come out here. Yeah, fuck that block. Then to push it, or you know, let me do that. Mobile whole hound, flame. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's just this has got pants. I wonder if hole hounds can only pop out of holes. So that's why it has to have pants, because you know there's a there's a hole right there. <laughs> also shit, I keep meaning to heal outside of battle and I didn't. Alright. I want to steal from the hole hound. But let's get rid of some of these flaming bunnies first. I still meet you. Um. Apparently, those pants are like a portal. All right. Um. Let's steal from a from a from a burning bunny. Ah! I didn't steal anything. Finish that off. Steal from the mobile hole hound. And freeze the mobile hole hound. Alright, we got 12 money. I want to get some items though. Alright, let's give Claire more mana. We can dive bomb. And let's just attack. Yeah, I think we'll finish it off with a round of attacks. Hell yeah! Yeah, we definitely want to hang on to money. Purify! Ooh, we found another key. Alright, before I forget again, let's fucking heal. Good stuff. And... can we... Really? Is Grindcore to be better than generic cauldrons? Eh, a little bit. Um, hmm. We have two keys.
But now what? Save real quick. Need two more. What are we missing? We came from that direction. Hmm. Oh, there's one down there. Alright, let's choose Allison. Allison? Uh Mug the Mobile Hound. And Claire. Freeze the riff at space time? Push him on. What we need is a tailor so we can sew the rip sew the riff back together. You know, you never want to knock uh, getting your space time second hand. You know, you can save a lot of reality um, if you do that. And it's uh it's more economical, you know, just uh Mobile Hound is thinking about his pants. <laughs> Dive bomb! Hell yeah. Alright, that is three keys. And I am still short one. Hmm. That one. So I got purification on this one. I got that key on that one. What am I missing? One. Ah, hey, welcome on by, Rebecca. No problem. Whether you lurk or are, or vibing, either way, it is appreciated because your time is valuable. So any of it you decide to spend with the silly serpent on the internet is a okay by me. Aha! Kind of blended in with the uh, blended in with the walls. Ooh, egg. An egg for our troubles. Damn. Couldn't steal anything. Wait, the egg attack? Oh, it only did like one damage. In these trying times, can I offer you an egg? What if I try to steal from an egg? There was 10 gold inside that egg. Um, interesting. Hey, it's the whole hound. They have returned. Just in time to get dive bombed and burned. Hell yeah. I'm just in awe of these backgrounds. Pixel art is so cool! Support your local pixel artist today. Hey, we dropped this barrier. I'm sure this is fine and dandy. Are we ready for this? 
Oh. It'd probably be a good idea to use the safe station and rest up on the couch we saw earlier. We're ready. Alright. It's pretty glitchy. What are you? Core Guardian. Alright. Start with some buffing. And try and burn it. Fifty damage. All right, we can we can handle that. It's not too bad. All right, was this fire? Fire's not the way to go. Noted. I'll just give it a. Oh, hold on a second. Um, we need to heal Claire. Whoopsie! My mistake. All right, let's mug the uh, core guardian and let's try and freeze it. Let's see what happens. 100 gold! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, frost. Frost is the way to go. Oh. Wow. It has some swords now. Alright, noted, noted. Player needs mana. Allison, give it an old. Uh, let's give it a high kick. See what happens. Let's. blink. <laughs> Deuces. Shoo. <laughs> the the friend with a truck whenever you uh whenever you need some help moving. Wow. <laughs> Resist. Huh. Oh, is it going to switch again? Alright. We mug it a second time. No. Uh, Melody, heal yourself. Allison, left jab. Give it all one, two. Alright, we got it below half. Ooh, it's got a shield. You know what? I'm gonna take that to mean it's gonna like reflect anything I do this round, and I'll just take a second to buff up. Alright, switch back to sword mode. Uh, we need to buff Allison. And... Let's go for a high kick. Ooh, there we go. The high kick is what we need. Um, let us top off Claire. Oh, shit! That's not good. Alright, we need to heal up Claire. Um... Let's do a normal attack. Oh, Claire attacked herself. Well, that's that's not good. Claire, stop hitting yourself. Claire, stop hitting yourself. Oh shit! Ooh, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. We got this team. Everyone, chip in. You don't need heals, Claire. You just need damage. Hell yeah. Of course Allison gets the last hit in. Easy. Herbal cure. Attack boost. Alright. Good lord. 
I guess we were right about you two being ready for a bigger challenge. Just how much power did that Fortuna spell give you? As much as I love to float, at the moment I'm more concerned about the fact that this is a dead end. Should we turn back? Maybe everything shifted around back there to give us an exit. Another monster? There's a ten ten name calling, are we? Honestly, the nerve! You barge into someone else's property and pummel every living thing in sight and you think I'm the monster? Uh, um, um, is that all you have to say for yourselves? Okay, two things, dude. One, if you keep trying to scare my girlfriend, we're gonna have a problem. And two, can you lose the goofy mask? I know my good looks may be hard to believe, but this is just my face. That's... Uh, okay. Hmm? Nothing. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, you think I look peculiar, do you? Well, the feeling is mutual, you weird little... weird creature. Wait, do, do you not know what a rabbit is? Please, I never claim to be a zoologist. I don't actually think you look funny, by the way. That would be very rude to the only person who might be able to help us leave. Right, Allison? Yeah, I really love that one piercing eye that stares directly into my soul thing you got going on. As much as I love these cute little attempts to win my favor, I believe we were discussing something else. Oh yes, you three were trespassing. What are you doing in here, other than causing property damage? We were trapped in here. We were just looking for a way out and defending ourselves against the monsters, I swear. Figures. Just three little locals act like they own the place before they eat. Just three locals acting like they own the place before we're even ready for guests. So you're responsible for all this? You made this whole dungeon all by yourself? Not quite sure I would call it a dungeon, but yes, this facility is under my jurisdiction. Things were shaping up quite nicely before you three started knocking around my underlings. Even the most of an eggs! Those poor, helpless most of an eggs! You've crushed their self-esteem! Okay, but what exactly were you doing building a weird labyrinth down here underneath our town? Also, hey, Drecky! Drecky? Wow, it has been a long day. Hey, Ray! <laughs> yes, it's me, Drecky! <laughs> I could ask you the same thing about your little dungeon, now couldn't I? Ah, uh, so you've heard of my work. Claire, now's not the time. Um, excuse me, I don't think we caught your name. My name is Jarvis. Not Jarvis, Jarvis. J-A-V-I-S. Everyone always gets it wrong. We also refer to me as Sir, if you wish to grovel. Okay, Mr. Javis, sir, what exactly is going on down here? Oh, just making some preparations before my superior's arrival. Headying up would be the phrase, I believe. Your superior? Who's that? <laughs> Whoops. I probably said more than I should. None of your concern. I'm letting you three off with just a warning. You're lucky I have better things to do right now than deal with you. Just for future reference, quit punching my subordinates and try not to wreck anything else of mine, okay? But I love wrecking! Well, then I have good news for you, you horrible little creature. Looks like the scrambler was damaged in your little skirmish and is going critical. This whole facility will be gone in a matter of seconds. Such shame. I'll be leaving now. Let's hope we never meet again. Wait. Huh. Interesting. You're the drunk one? Uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't got no alcohols. Uh, certainly, certainly is a day where I wish I had some. Well, okay. Are we alive? Uh, that's a good question. Claire, is this hell? Or is it just like a personal hell? It's a cave. That doesn't exactly answer the question. Is that whole dungeon really gone? Just like that? Looks like it. 
Oh, thank God. I was starting to think we'd never get out of there. See, what'd I tell you, Mel? You've got nothing to worry about with me watching your back. Thanks, Allison. I can't believe it's all gone. What a waste. Claire, that dungeon was bogus. I know, but that was like our first real adventure. It was such a good learning experience. Wish I had a chance to take notes. Well, next time you get stuck in reality warping dungeon built by a talking videotape, I'm sure you'll remember to bring a notebook and a pen. Now, I hope this isn't the last time I have to say this today, but let's find a way out of here. <laughs> Huh. Oh, is this gonna go to the the Danger hole? Or are we just gonna backtrack and we'll be back in the basement? Spoopy. Can't say I'm too pleased about there being a spike pit blocking our way here. Hmm, spike pit duty is usually Jody's thing. Come on, you gotta have some trick up your sleeve to spikes. You know, like a million spells. Well, I don't exactly think setting these crystal spikes on fire would help our would improve our situation here. We'll just have to see if Jody can help us with these. How mean, game, forcing me to backtrack. You wouldn't even let me take Jody initially. Ah, it is the Danger, the Danger rope. Oh my god, we did it! We made it out of there in one piece. Well, three pieces, but there are three of us. But you get my point. See? I told you I had it on me. Excuse me. See? I told you we had it under control. Are, you, are your adventures with Jody usually that whack, Claire? Or was that new? That was... Well, it was something else. Oh, I'm still processing it, I think. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm exhausted. I'm heading back to my place for a nice long nap. Oh, before you go, maybe we should, you know, keep what happened down there to ourselves? For now, at least. If Faith finds out about the whole basement dungeon thing, we'll never hear the end of it. I'm not sure anyone would believe us if we told them what we just saw anyway. Eh, you're the boss. Mel, you coming with? Oh, yes, I can use some rest myself. Dot, dot, dot. Location, hole. <laughs> Later that night. Melody must have been gone, must have gone for a walk when she got up. Shouldn't be too hard to track her down. Alright, now I'm playing as Alice. Couldn't sleep. Just a little restless, I guess. How did you know I would be here? I didn't! This is my fourth guess. Want some coffee? Ooh, what kind of coffee? The extremely sugary kind with very little actual caffeine. Just how you like it. You shouldn't have. But the, But I'll take it anyway. Well, it was sure interesting, huh? I certainly can't can't say that's how I expected to spend my Monday. Hey, it's Monday here too. That'd be kind of crazy if the game actually would read the time of day and then just fill in there. That's not too hard. It'd be kind of crazy. It's definitely possible. What? Do you think it'd be different? Less eggs, mainly. Fair enough. You did great, though. All that healing and junk, we couldn't have done all that without you. I probably would have gotten punched clean through a wall and left a bunny-shaped hole, like in a cartoon. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about all this. I mean, the circumstances might not have been ideal, but I don't know. Something about healing just feels right. Maybe it just feels good to be useful to someone. Now. It's not good to judge yourself based on how useful you are. 
Okay, maybe that's not the right wording. It just feels nice to be helping people. You know, keeping my friends from getting hurt, making a difference in their lives. Maybe I've even finally figured out my thing. Your thing? Okay, like, Claire's got her magic, and Jody's a courageous knight with a code of honor and all that. You're a great fighter, and you're super cool. What stands out about me? Being pink? I don't have any flashy talents, or interesting hobbies, or a cool job. I'm just kind of around. But now, maybe, maybe healing is my thing. I mean, you seem like a Nashville to me, but you've already got a lot of things. You're also super nice, you're insightful, and you're generous. You're a really giving person, you know that? And of course, you're pretty cute too. That's a plus. And look at me. I'm glad you think I'm cool, but I'm just a big dummy who likes swords and cute girls, and cute girls with swords, and run on sentences. I guess what I'm saying is, I hope this works out. But if it doesn't, you shouldn't worry about trying to force yourself into a neat little box like that. It's okay for you to just be you. I mean, I already like you for being you. Stop saying so many smart things, you big dummy. No, when you talk as much as I do, eventually you get lucky and say something smart. So, what about you? Is this guild thing going on as well as you'd hoped? I mean, pretty much. Aside from the weird limbo dimension or whatever we stumbled into, I can't complain much. You don't sound that enthused. No, I am. Just groggy. We're doing great. I guess it doesn't really feel completely real yet. I don't have any reason to be concerned, though. It's fine. My brain's just being dumb and not letting me relax. I know the feeling. But you've wanted to do this your whole life, right? Yep, pretty much. I mean... It's hard not to want to be an adventure when most of your formative memories involve tagging along with your mom on her legendary adventures. I can't even imagine what that might have been like. Well, okay, my mom probably didn't make didn't take me on her grandest adventures before we settled in Green Ridge. Probably just the more toddler friendly ones. All the legendary adventures with no sharp objects or potential choking hazards. Or swearing. Everything felt really grand to a little kid like me though. My mom felt was my mom was the coolest person in the world to me. She isn't afraid of anything. It's like being the kid of a superhero. I guess uh, because of her, I always thought that being an adventure was the coolest thing you could be. But I still feel pretty much the same. Maybe that's just a bit much to live up to. I should just be happy that I'm getting the chance to do this at all. Especially with you, Melody. Hey, have I ever told you why I chose the name Melody? I don't think you have. Why do you ask? I don't know. We're just reminiscing now, I guess. So, you know I always have to overthink everything, right? So I really wanted to make it count. I couldn't just pick anything. Melody sounded like a sweet name to me, and... Well, it probably sounds stupid, but... I thought that, in a song, the melody is sort of... The centerpiece? Like the focal point of the song. It's got a certain confidence to it. It's the part of the song that people pay attention to in most songs, right? I don't know. That might be all wrong. Maybe I should have taken music theory in high school. No, no, no. That makes sense to me. And I did take music theory. I thought that I just heard it enough. I started to think of myself like that. Like my name represented the kind of person they wanted to become. Not just the girl part, but like everything. Someone more confident in her voice, I guess. Sorry I'm being such a downer, aren't I? Do you remember what I said when you came out to me in faith? You said that if I spilled my name with an I, then I could do it, then I could dot it with a heart. And that it'd be cute. Why'd we take so long to start dating? Because we're a couple of dummies. Aww. And then they kiss. Are you there, my queen? We've got a status report on the operation on... Ah! Hydrate? Alright, yeah, that's... A good bit of talking. And stretch. Yeah, I gotta stretch too. Ah! Hey, Doodle Cutter! Yep, yep. Breaking on into... Slurpee G! Monday. 
Hi right there, my queen. I've got a status report on the operation on uh, whatever they call this horrid planet. Last I heard, they were calling the planet Reverie. Reverie, that's the one. Anyway, I just like to report that everything is going to according to plan so far. There may have been some minor setbacks, admittedly. But not to worry. We did anticipate the possibility of interference from the locals, after all. So we moved on to plan B. Nice work, Jabez. Have you made contact with a potential recruit you had your eye on in Greenridge? Affirmative. It was quite simple to sway her to our side. While she's inexperienced, she makes up for it with a raw skill and passion. I see great potential in her. And, if nothing else, her familiarity with the area will be of great use. Will it? If you ever forget the name of the planet you're on again, now you can just ask her. Good one, my queen. Oh, queen. So when should I be able to make my grand entrance? I can only keep myself preoccupied for so long while you run around playing Dungeon Master and having all the fun. Very soon, my queen. If we remain on schedule, we should be ready within... 48 hours. Wonderful. I hope they're ready for me. The plot thickens. And who's the local traitor? Ooh. Act 2. Scene 1. Plot chickens. <laughs> The proof is in the pudding, so therefore it's useless. Blah. I was kind of thinking waffles for breakfast, act. Oh fuck, waffles sound amazing. I mean, maybe, but I've been trying to watch my cards. You own a waffle iron we never used, though. That's literally the only thing it was made to do. Who could that be? It's Claire. Oh, it's Claire. Hey, are you too decent in there? Can I come in? Claire, I'd like to think I'm better than decent. That's not what I- Look, just come meet me at the library whenever you can. Huh. Wonder whatever she wants. Also, why'd she walk all the way over here instead of just texting us? Alright. Let's... Save. And I think Act 2 is a good stopping point. 